Big disclaimer. Procreate wrecked the footage. I wrecked the audio. We are not the same. But it will get better. Thanks for the support. Uh, I know it's been a while. But I'm finally back and I finally did it. I have finished Fatalis. And I kind of showed a couple videos of him on my ticky talk Twitter. I don't know what. Um, but yeah, I finished, and as you can see here, kind of off the bat, there's a lot of things I need to talk about. I don't know if I'm going to remember all of them. Uh, still no, like, what is it? Script? But this time there's even less of a script, because usually I at least, like, I'll watch the video, like, one time over, kind of get a good idea of what I was thinking at that time. Like, oh yeah, I remember to say that. Um, this time I didn't. So, I want to get a much more genuine in the moment thing. So, yeah. But, um, this is Procreate. I uh, had to learn it for this drawing. This is the first thing, pretty much, I did in Procreate. I drew some, like, pencil sketches and stuff like that in Procreate, but I didn't do anything like a finished art piece. So, this is, like, the first thing like that. So, you're witnessing my struggle with all those, like... Especially with the coloring and stuff, you were witnessing all the coloring struggle and me trying to find brushes, and that was me pulling up, like, yeah, brush settings and still trying to figure out all that stuff. Um, in general, because, uh, yeah, I got a fancy dancy iPad for, like, the holiday season and all that. But, um, it was really cool and nice, and I've been trying to figure it out and stuff, but because of that, it had, I made a lot of complications with the recording. Like, as you saw, probably, it didn't start with the sketch of it, really. Um, sketch part was kind of not included uh, in this thing, so sorry about that. But at the very end of this, I'm going to put in the Procreate time-lapse. And I didn't really like how the Procreate time-lapse worked, because the way it works is it only records each, like, stroke, or I think it says after every undo action. Uh, any undo action so it's pretty much like no matter how long the line took you to draw it doesn't account for that so if you did like a one line drawing for like an hour um procreate would just record like one single frame of it being finished and that'd be it because it only records like once you let go of your pen kind of i guess that's the way to put it so um i didn't really like how that worked so I wanted to get a better full recording and you can see all the extra like layout and reference pictures i had on the side and, um, what was I talking about before? Uh, so yeah, the recording's really messed up because I was learning iPad stuff and Procreate stuff. Um, but it'll be at the end so you can see, like, the full process, kinda. Um, I won't be talking during that part. I'll just have the Procreate, like, video just rolling. Um, and so this is gonna be, I don't know, I don't even know how much this was sped up, but it took, I think it was 17 hours in total of recording I had. But that wasn't the full drawing process, and a lot of that is kind of... Um, I know there's a few times in here that's like uh, a little bit of like nothing. Obviously, there's like sometimes I record like when I'm doing something else accidentally. So I think in total, maybe it was like 15 hours of like actual working kind of on this thing. With a lot of trying to understand the program also being thrown in there. But um, yeah, so all that, all that good jazz and stuff. Always got to have complications when trying to do something. Um, Vitalis. So, stuff about him, I guess. Um, if you don't know about him. Because uh, I'm like a Monster Hunter kind of channel, I guess. He's from the Monster Hunter games. Um, this version, as you can see from like the reference picture I took, is uh, I'm drawing the one from World. Because I think they look a little bit different. And this is just a regular Vitalis version, not no... Crimson or white Vitalis is just a regular old black Vitalis. Um, but I really like Vitalis. I thought he was super dope, super awesome. I love his flipping fight in the game in Monster Hunter World. I think it's one of the coolest flipping boss fights I've ever done. It's like my favorite monster to fight. Um, so I really want to do an art piece for him. And um, actually, someone, I don't know if I really should talk about this because they kind of said well they said you wanted to be like anonymous so as long as i don't like say who it is i think it's fine but someone actually like reached out to me and was like hey can you draw fatalis and i was like oh okay i guess so and so this is this is all for you one person this is for you there you go not really though i it's not it is so have a special day but it's not just yours 
but it's for you so happy birthday and stuff um but anyway i had trying to try to kind of trying to i gotta think about my words sometimes but uh, <clears throat> kind of trying to mess with the audio stuff again so this might this might sound a little bit different as always some background noise because i'm not a professional studio i'm just stupid but yeah um see when i'm gonna actually start talking about the fatalis so let's see i don't even know where to begin with him i think i covered most of the stuff i had to cover beforehand so i think i can kind of start talking about this now but um so this took a while um oh yeah okay so that was another thing too i kind of want to talk about the reason why this took a while to start in the first place is because i was looking for pictures online for fatalis and I swear, I guess everybody sucks and nobody had pictures fighting him or only some people because I just couldn't find like any images online of Fatalis. I don't know if there's a good place for it. Um, Anzanath had quite a few more. For him too, it was a bit hard to find the right pictures, but there was like, uh, I could find a bunch and I used a bunch for his references. For Fatalis though, I had to literally go into the game and fight him. And that was like the first thing I did for like, I think it was like, I don't know, like two days maybe i fought him like six ish times with like different weapons and stuff i had to remember how to fight him but um i was doing that to get like different reference poses and uh different lightings and stuff and one in certain parts he has like different phases that uh change his looks and appearance and gives them like different blue fire and so i had to kind of get him to like that stage of the fight and then like take pictures of that during the middle of the fight so it's really hard to do uh that took a while too um but i did it kind of it was all right the pictures are fine enough and then this is the the hd re-release image or whatever of fatalis and this is kind of what got a lot of people like hyped about fatalis i think the story goes is like monster Hunter like made this image and they're like happy fatalis anniversary and then everyone was like please add him in the game and then they're like oh okay and then they did and, um so that picture Fatalis looks actually a little bit different than his in-game version, but uh, I still liked how it looked. So I used that mainly as its reference for its head because I didn't have a really good picture of its head. Because it's hard to get a picture of his head while he's in-game, like fighting him. And then when you kill him, he's kind of just like a, he, I don't know, like usually I'll break his face a little bit or his eyes are closed or he's like half in the floor in the game so it's kind of hard to get a good picture of him in game so i was like i'll just use the hd picture that monster hunter made of him and um and i guess one other thing is uh this recording this was like i did a bunch of like ipad screen capture things with it so there's a lot of weirdness with that too is this is made of like a bunch of recordings uh, still trying to figure out layer stuff there. But I guess finally now I'll be talking about the actual drawing. But um, yeah, so I think yeah, I, I drew the fire before and it was like blue and orangey, or right, yeah, it was like blue and red, and I really like that. Actually, after I've changed it to this and seeing that blue fire again, I kind of did like how that look looked, um, and I kind of like how this one looks. But I feel like it's just kind of missing something. This is kind of what it looks like at like the very end. It kind of stays like this. I think I tweak it around a little bit more. But um, that's one of the like the few things at the very end when I finally finished. And just to let you know, I do think this is a, uh, a bit of a fail. Something about it I just don't exactly like. I think it is partially the fire. Something with the... Just how it looks. Just doesn't sit right with me. Um, I just don't think it's as cool. I've had a lot of trouble with fire. The same thing with Anjanath. When I was trying to do his fire. I was just like, dang. I really just don't know how to do fire. And um, with this one too, now I'm like, dang, I really don't know what to do with fire. But, um, yeah, so that happens. Sorry about that. You know. Um, let's see. Oh, weird. Um, anyway, so yeah, the, that was like one of the reasons why I think at the very end of this, I kind of consider like a fail of a picture. Um, I think that, and then I don't know, I think I just kind of got to get better at drawing and stuff. Just compositional things and shading and stuff. But, um, but look at this. At this point, now we're getting back into the, the thing I've said, I think already like three times now. I don't even know. 
like flip flopped about it all the time with like Delamader and stuff. And I was like, I'm not gonna do scales like this again. And then whoever was next after him, I don't even remember. It was, I feel like there was something between him and Anjanath. Oh yeah, um, a Cantor. I was like, I tried to make the scales better, kinda, and uh, they were fine. And then Anjanath, I didn't really give him any because he's kind of just like a weird hairy pink thing. But, um. And then for this guy, I was like, uh, I kind of was having troubles with, I liked how he looked at this stage kind of, but I was like, he doesn't have the scales. And that's something for me, I really like the scales of this black dragon, because Fatalis' design is really simple. He is just like a black dragon, like that is it, Mon like the Monster people, like I looked at some stuff that they like have about them and information and they're like for other monsters in the game they wanted to be they wanted them to be like creatures and base them off of like other real life animals and stuff but then for certain dragons and certain like bosses or whatever they wanted them to be like just mythical creatures and fatalis is just straight up supposed to be just a black dragon like just true and true just a black dragon so he kind of doesn't look crazy unique but I think he looks really flippin' cool, and a part of him that I feel like is uh, really interesting is his scales. I just really, because he is just pretty much just all black, some yellow and brown and stuff. So I feel like his scales was very important to capture, because otherwise he would kind of just be like, I don't know, like a gray-blue slate color, and a, like just a clean thing, and it looked kind of weird, so I was like, you know what, I want to add in the scales. So yeah, I think I started here with the big stupid arm wing thing. Um, went to the neck and the face. The face is gonna change because that face looked gross. And I like I knew it looked like it has a scale pattern, but it also it looks out of style with the rest of it. So I was like, I'll come back to that and change it up a little bit. But um, so yeah, as I was kind of talked about before, this is like this was done with a bunch of different recordings. So it was done over a couple days. I think this actually took me like two weeks even though i think i kind of stopped like posting most things for a while um i think this drawing process took uh, about over like two weeks i was drawing it like every once in a while about daily some days not but most days i was drawing so um i kind of jump around a lot of places i don't stick on one place very long because it was a uh, kind of you know going all over the place so yeah that happens that happens and um let's see now we're yeah doing more of the neck and that was the thing too i was trying to i was like i want to do the scales but they just don't look right and i had to find a balance that i think you'll see later and the balance is just like i figured out because i don't know small brained i guess i was like what's up with the scales what's not just clicking what's not clicking with them that makes them just work like they they do on the image and uh my small little monkey brain was thinking about it and then i was like oh i got it so some scales are much bigger and uh, deeper into Fatalis' like skin and armor, and they're like much thicker scales. While well, other ones that are they get really small in certain areas, I mean, like the areas that have a bit more movement, it seems like they get much smaller, like elbow, wrist, hand, sh weird shoulder joints, neck. They're a lot smaller. Um, and it seems like uh, for those areas, since they're so much smaller, they don't go as deep into the, his like body as the other scales do. So I figured I was like, oh, OK, so if I have like the same black line for all of it, it kind of looks weird. So for certain areas like the neck and stuff, I kind of go over it again with um like a one of the colors I was like underneath to kind of like fade the black lines away a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to start doing it here or what. And um. I hope this kind of matches up because I think uh, I kind of do like a really quick export of like a video to like watch along with to kind of get the idea of like what's going on in the drawing. But I'm not I don't think I'm it's like, yeah, Ugh, I just get all over the place anyway. um, It's not the exact video that should be going up that I'm watching, but it's pretty similar. So I'm kind of like following along with that video and hopefully should like. Uh, kind of work with the ones that you're watching, but um, at least for me, there you go. Now we're kind of, I think I'm gonna start doing it. Uh, I don't remember all this. I remember the the dragon as usual. The main 
part of the image takes a while, but I think now that we're getting to the wings, it's going to start speeding up. Or I think yeah, the neck and like the arm part, part thing, whatever that arm wing is. Um, it took a while and I was like getting used to the scaling effect. And then with the wing part, I kind of was like, okay, I get it. Now I have to like put the, all the texture and then kind of like get rid of it a little bit. Um, then I was doing this. Arm. I like this arm. This arm looks cool. I like it. Um, yeah, I was really kind of proud of the scaling work here. It actually kind of worked. It seemed like, um, like here with the Delamador with him just being all scales. I really got to redo Delamador. I've seen it again recently and I was like, oh man, that thing is just so ugly. But, um, yeah, the scales here, these ones I really like, and I'm really proud of kind of, uh, I think they actually work. And they actually kind of look like the game, kind of look like the it would allow them to move properly. Um, the scales that I'm doing right now on that like weird neck fold, arm shoulders fold area, I think I'm going to redo them soon so they don't look like that. Because right there it looks a bit weird, a bit messy. So they're going to get redone, I believe. Um, but I liked how these ones turned out. And I think that was another thing that I figured out that... Uh, since, cause it's not, his whole body doesn't have the exact same scale. If you see like on the reference image, like the ones on his shoulder are much bigger and like diamond shaped. And then the ones on his neck are like longer lines, like squares. Um, so it kind of helped. I realized if I just kind of went to like the middle of the area and like drew the main scale shape in that area and then radiated like out from the area and then kind of like, like transformed that shape into the shape of the other scales so yeah i kind of made it like the diamond shapes of the arm I, it was helped to like kind of radiate outward and go into like the rectangle shapes of like the neck and uh chest ish area of the body um yeah the lighting of this thing i had kind of i kind of had a little trouble with i realized later on i was like oh i never really figured out what the exact uh, lighting of this is gonna be uh, and I still never really figured it out completely at the end so I kind of hope that sorry had to sneeze <laughs> but um kind of hope that uh it works in the end because I've kind of my brain is kind of tuned out lighting for some reason usually for most images I kind of remember lighting for some reason I didn't for this but I think at the end ish it should be all right but I kind of made it so it's like the sun or whatever the light source is because whenever when you fight him in this area like in the game he's in this like burned down kingdom that Fatalis like destroyed like a uh, centuries ago or whatever um the whole like world and sky is just kind of like a red bloody red color like dark dark red and whatever so there isn't really like a sun at least I don't think but I know there's a light source somewhere but um, so I kind of just made it like dead on with him his, his head, but not like from our angle. It's like pretty much like the right of him. So it's like dead on with him and like it kind of hits his body directly. So I wanted it to be um, I kind of just I had the at the start. If you go back, if you want to, because I kind of had it. Uh, I, don't know, I just kind of put a lot of colors down. I liked how it looked, but I felt like it looked way too artsy for me. Which I'm, f I it's fine with for other people, but I kind of just like a bit more like realistic looking. So, a lot of that you saw before gets covered up, like a lot of the lighting and stuff. Even though I do think it looked really cool and nice, like the leg, I like how it looks kind of, and the arm before. But um, it kind of gets changed a lot. But I think it looks fine in the end with what I was, what I was trying to do, because uh, I think I had it that the yellow, like I had that really bright, like I try to keep it like the brightest yellow. I have it on like the edge of the body and that was like the what is it like the edge light kind of just because we're on the side of him but it's kind of like the main light that's hitting him and then um it kind of like fades to like the pink color which is not as bright as the yellow it kind of goes a bit more with his like purpley coloring and uh yeah that too i was trying to make this all very warm colored while still he's like Cause he's just kind of black so it's kind of hard if he's like more blue black or red black but i was kind of trying to keep mine to be a little bit of both kind of keep him like blue ish in some areas and also purpley more because i want him to be like very red and evil because vitalis is really evil looking um let's see what's going on all right 
mine froze for a second. Um, sorry about that. So I don't know. I don't know if this exactly is going to line up with what you're seeing, but I kind of hope it does. It should kind of go decently well with what you're seeing. And, um, let's see. And how, for me at least, we're going back to the face. A bit of shade. Oh yeah, this I think maybe this is when I change the face, or I think I'm just kind of doing a bit of fixing up in most areas. Cause yeah, I think the next part should be his leg. Oh yeah, that was a thing I guess a while ago too that I should talk about because I didn't when it was happening. But um, the hands and feet were a real big trouble for me. I had a really hard time with that. Um, because at first like. Fatalis' hands and feet, he kind of just looks really, like, human-looking. And I feel like that's another thing that makes him really cool, is that he seems really, like, I don't know, like... Even though he's, like, a dragon and, like, a creature, he seems kind of close to, like, humans. And I think that's... I feel like that's trying to, like, show his intelligence and stuff. Because lore-wise, I'm, I'm pretty sure, at least what I've heard from before, is that Fatalis is, like... He can technically, like, speak and talk and, like, speak English and stuff. But he doesn't because he hates people and so he kind of just murders everyone. But I feel like uh, they made him like really human looking to kind of like show that like intelligence. Like he's kind of pretty close to us. And um, so with his like hands and like feet, I wanted him to like kind of look like a person. Like I wanted him to like be humanish because that's kind of what it just looks like. And I wanted him to kind of like be like bending down a little, like he's like touching the ground with one hand. But at the start, um, it looked kind of like weirdy, like really weird and kind of looked, um, I don't know, not that like, it didn't really look evil. Like Fatalis, I feel like just looks really evil. That was the thing too I had to figure out. Um, and I was like, well, what's going on with this? Cause it doesn't, it doesn't look spooky or scary. It just kind of looks like, I don't know, weird. Um, and I figured out that was something, um, if you're gonna make some creature, uh, if he has, like, spiky nails, don't make him go, like, straight out. You wanna curve them a little bit, to, and they, they're, they like, I don't know, it's really simple, but for some reason I was just kinda, like, I was struggling with that for a while at the start. But, like, here, I was like, oh, that's, I figured it out now. But it's pretty much just kind of curve their claws. And it makes it look a bit more like talons, like kind of like actual claws on a creature instead of just like weird spiky fingernails. Like I feel like he had like a, I don't know, like a really dainty hand of like a witch lady who just had like really long claws. But then like at this stage, it was like, oh yeah, that looks like a, an evil dragon claw. That's still like kind of humanish looking. So I was proud of that one. I'm glad that worked out. Um, I was working with the leg. The leg had a bit of trouble. Uh, the scales of the leg were really hard. I didn't have any really good images of the leg. The best image I had was this really far away shot of it. So that one was pretty uh, difficult to pull off. And the legs in general, they were just really hard to get the right angle. Um, still trying to learn all the the perspective-y thing. Because even though he's kind of... I kind of didn't want to do this pose because it's kind of like... It's kind of flat-ish because he's to the side. He's not really facing us or whatever. But um, Fatalis always kind of squats, even as you can see in that picture. He's always kind of squatting. So it kind of gave that, like, 3D dimensional, like, feel because his knees, like, kind of coming towards us. And then I had his, like, tail kind of wrap around him because a lot of the time he does kind of has his, like, tail wrap around him. I think whenever you, like, first walk into his, like, fight, his tail is, like, kind of, like, coiled, like, close to him. I kind of wanted, like, that thing. I thought it looked really cool to have, like, the tail, like, going off camera and then coming back on or off the canvas, I guess, and then coming back on. Um, I think we're getting close to finishing up with the, the Fatalis part. And then once we get out of the Fatalis part, as usual, the, the rest of the drawing is going to be really freaking fast. So, you know, get ready for that. Um... And now you're going to see a lot of the spazzy camera movements. So I'm sorry if you got a, uh, like, motion sickness and or stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, that, it's going to be moving on. Oh, we haven't even started the tail yet. At least for mine, I don't know. I really don't know how out of sync this is. Um, I think it kind of is a bit out of sync, but I'm hoping it's not. I don't feel like recording this again. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> Glad we can uh, chat and laugh together. Um, my loyal eight subscribers. Um, 
So yeah, that kind of dates this video. This is the point of eight subscribers. So if I have nine by the time this video comes out, <laughs> you know, that was a long time ago. Anyway, now they're actually doing something. The tale, at least for me, has begun. Um, tale is hard too, cause it's like really big and weird. Again, I didn't really have great photos of the tail. I kind of had to like make it up, kind of just like slap things around and stuff. And I think even when I finish the tail, I'm not going to be done with him. I think I'm going to go back over like most of them again, kind of like tweaking up things and fixing things. I think I remember I like moved around some of his scales and horns a little bit more. I think I might have made a few areas darker, a few areas lighter, maybe. And then after all that, we kind of finally get to like the background. Um, I guess I'll just talk about it now. You can kind of see the in the background right now. This is like fire and there's like a weird thing to the left of that. The fire, I mean, I guess you probably saw the reference image. Um, there's going to be fire back there. And then the weird thing to the side of that is um, during the fight, there's like a cannon that opens up and it's on this like weird little platform that you can shoot at him with. And I was just like, oh, I remember that cannon. That cannon's stupid. So, uh, yeah, I like the stupid cannon. So I wanted to put it into the drawing, even though you don't really see it that well at the very end. Like, it's kind of just like a black thing. But, you know, it's a cannon. The real monster hunter veterans and pros will know that's the the weird cannon back there the weird cannon that i feel like probably not a lot of people use i think i used it like once once i like i was like running around the arena trying to heal and i accidentally climbed up the platform and i was like oh dang there's a cannon back here i don't even know i don't really don't know why it's there it's like not really useful in the fight um so this is when the tail starting to change a little bit uh for this i think i kind of tried to I kind of tried to do the thing where like I went to like the middle of an area, but I kind of tried to base it around all the spikes of his like tail. I try to like radiate the scales from that. So that's what I try to do with this. And then I kind of try to get some shading with um, some the scales blocking some of the light. Um, yeah, like I said before, I don't know exactly. I never really feel like figured out the exact lighting direction of this picture, but you know, uh, hope that it, looks good enough you know um let's see a lot of little details with the tail yeah the same thing before i like put in all the scales and i have to like get rid of some of them and then put some more in and uh now i'm putting in like the actual like lighting of the uh, the rest of the image or it's like the yellow is the brightest area and then the pink kind of radiates away from that uh, i think that looked really good though that was really nice and then, yeah, I think this was a bit of the touch-ups of other areas. I was kind of going uh, to other places. I think the face I might mess with one more time, I think. Yeah, I don't think that's the final face. I think I'll mess with it one more time. Because, yeah, every, at least for me, you don't really see it because I kind of cut those out. Uh, I think most of them. But um, I would kind of, like, jump, jump out of, like, the canvas and go to, like, the main page of Procreate. And you would see, like, a little tiny thumbnail of your drawing and i know i could have just done that here too with a weird little like the fatalis picture in the corner right now i could make that a picture of the canvas or yeah i would do like this too and i would look around and I'd be, hmm, it doesn't look exactly right or something's wrong with this area or that area and then i would go in and like change that area based on like the seeing like the small version of it so yeah and then now we're finally in the background area Doing all the background. I based most of it off of two images. Um, and now you kind of get the idea of what I was trying to go for. I wanted the mountain in the background, just a little piece of it. The weird little castle, like you're standing on the left side of his arena, pretty much. Um, I kind of copied it again, but this time, unlike Anjanath, I think I might have talked about that in that video. Uh, I didn't want to copy the coloring, the way I colored in that one. I kind of just, um, I just color picked it from the actual, like, in-game kind of thing. And I feel like that made it look a little flat and weird and not exactly connected to the rest of the image. <clears throat> but for this one, I didn't do that. So, hooray, I used more of his colors and then I kind of changed around a, a little bit. Um, yeah, that too. I was kind of, I was trying to stick to the same palette for most of him. So like the most of the colors I put down at the start, I kind of stuck to those. I didn't really go add in any more colors to them. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah, I think I think I'll talk about that too at the start. Um, 
Let me figure out brushes. The brushes were a really hard thing for me. I, I, because I kind of figured out a pencil brush that I really like to like sketch with and procreate at this point. But um, I hadn't really found anything for coloring, and I kind of realized that pretty soon. I was like, oh yeah, I have to find a coloring brush, like at the start of this thing. So had some trouble with that and uh my girlfriend recommended me a few like free brush packs because she's always like looking at other youtube people's like videos and artists professional artists you know actual artists um looking at their stuff online and they'll have like mod packs i think you might have seen them when i pulled up brushes before like cynics and i tried some weird layer effects to make this look cool um like cynics and other guys a al dory and stuff and then um I had like a paper mate thing because I got some weird paper screen protector. It's supposed to make the tablet like feel like paper when you like write or draw on it. Um, but I never really like wrote or draw on the tablet with or the iPad without it, the screen protector. So it kind of just feels normal. But you know, it's all right. Uh, but it gave some free brushes. Um, for the most part, I think I used mostly just Cynix's brush pack. Um, and Cynix is a pretty big art to YouTuber, so if you found this, you probably probably had a much better chance of finding him before, or if not, just look up Cynix, you know, and you'll find him. Um, so I think I used most of his stuff, and this, the most, of the, the brush I'm using here for the most part, you probably can go back and look if you want, but it's just the Cynix, like, I think it's the Thick and Thin something or other. That's probably the name, something or other. Thick and Thin something or other. Um, so yeah. That's what I use for most of this, all the coloring bit. Uh, finally get in, look at all those things. You can see resuscitate and damage taken was reduced. Y yeah, you know what I, what's going on over there. I was dying, but living, barely. Um, all right, so at this point, I didn't know exactly what I wanted for the image. I felt like something was missing, as I said before, and I kind of wanted to, to like, uh, I wanted to put the weird fire effect like you see in that thing. Um, I wanted to put it like all over. I kind of wanted to do that from the very start. That was my initial plan. But then at the end, I was like, I don't know how to do this. So there's kind of two images for this one. There's two fatalities, fatalises, fatalisi, however you say it, multiple fatalismen. Um, so one of them is one without fire effects on this side of the screen. Oh, this is me finally going back to his face because I was like, that face is ugly. So I change it up a little bit, make it try to look cooler, a bit more dynamic, a bit properly shaded, I think. It's not like that right now, but uh, it'll get to that. But um, yeah, I wanted like really cool fire effects on the side of the screen. And then I think if you saw earlier, I have one reference image that's like a, a blue fire explosion all around Fatalis. And I really liked with that thing, it has like this weird warping effect from like all the heat that he's releasing. And it's like this ball of like warping flipping air and stuff because of all like the heat he's like shooting out in all directions. And um, I really liked how that thing looks too, like the effect of it's like warping everything around it. And I kind of wanted to incorporate that too on like the edges of the image. And that was something I had in place like the whole time. So I, for the wings, that's kind of why they're pretty empty and stuff. And I didn't really look much at the wings because uh, I had the plan to kind of cover them up a little bit with all that stuff that you're seeing now um but at the end i was like eh it's kind of weird and then i don't know yeah as you can see i'm trying all these weird layers and all these different effects and i still was trying to learn procreate in general during this time and uh i was just kind of scared of like messing up the whole freaking image so i kind of wimped out on that so you didn't get really a super cool fire edge on the screen effect um you'll see what you'll get at the end um i'm gonna put both the pictures and uh and then you, i kind of even like even yeah like the the warping of like heat that like is pretty much like not even there at all um maybe sometime later if i'm a better artist i can kind of pull that off uh, but for now you'll have these really bootleg janky fire effects only on certain areas of the screen um, but there'll be two images, and if you want, you can, you know, comment in the comments and say, I like this one more, or I like that one more, you know? Or you can be like, why didn't you just keep it in the first phase when it was smooth without the scales, it looked cooler. And then I'll say, you know what, 
I like the scales. So then, yeah, this is like me messing with a bunch of the layers, trying to like figure out things, almost deleting my whole like everything multiple times, getting really upset and really pissed off at stuff. And I was like, what the frick is going on? Messing with blurring stuff. And I was like, what is going on with this? Trying to figure out this and that. Um, I just had to use the smudge tool, which is really annoying. And then that was it. So yeah. So this is like the finished version without the fire effects. I think it looks fine. Cool. It's all right. Still missing stuff. And then the fire version without. Um, you know, it's all right. It's cool stuff. It's fine-ish. And then side by side, you know? So yeah, there. There you go. Two fatalismans. Brothers in arms. And all that. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, more content soon. Goodbye.